Good morning, everyone. This is the first video for the Garden of Eaton for 2024 for the garden. I hate that tree. You see that tree? It's a big old hanging pollen tree. It sets my grandson off and it sets one of my daughters completely off where they can't come outside. Eyes swollen, nose, all that stuff. I hate that really large, big root tree. If I could afford to have that cut down, I promise you I would. And I bet you. Okay. On to Beverly Apple, which is supposed to be an apple tree out of Northern California. Or maybe Southern, but California. Anyway, it's called the Beverly Apple. She is blooming, has never produced any apples, but she did have some apple blossoms last year. So we'll see what she does. On to Miss Alberta, the peach tree. I blew it a bit. She had wonderful, wonderful, wonderful blooms. And then I sprayed her with a dormant spray. Some of the peaches survived. You're supposed to spray them while they're dormant and asleep before they have any blooms or blossoms. Um, you can spray them after the fruit set, but not while they're blooms. So a lot of the blooms, and I'm going to see if I can show you one. Like example, this was a bloom right here. See how it just fell off? And there's some up in over there, just dried um, parts. A lot of them I cut off because there's a lot of um, what they call water shoots. Anyway, so she's fabulous and peaches she is sprayed she will continue to be sprayed on a schedule um man look if i can get some peaches enough to make a peach cobbler a peach pie bite some peaches you know share with my family great see how this limb is right here it's this limb literally right there uh when i um sprayed it i lost the blooms you see them and right above it too you see them i'm not going to worry about it though because she she passed the frost this year um her leaves are looking healthier this year because i kept spraying her last year with the um organic fruit spray and so <laughs> look at that one little peach <laughs> right there you guys um i'm excited so that's all i can say she may not have a lot of peaches now in 2025 she will i know more what to do now but look her peaches are there they're bigger they're more mature she is now in the ground for years okay um this month and so well four years next month i guess i probably did it in april um but four years april 2020 it's now 2024, so I'm happy with her. Um, her peaches will be ripe in probably May or June, I suppose, but um, she's gonna get sprayed here um, before it rains again. I might spray her as much as I can today with the organic fruit spray. So let's move on to the um, um, crab apple. Okay, and she's all wrapped around here. So as of yesterday, I actually began to see leaves on her since I bought her, right? Um, and I bought her late season 2023. She was on the clearance rack. And if you can see what I see, there's leaves. See, they're coming. So I'm excited about her. She's in a bucket in the ground because she won't stay here. Um, when I go from this house, she goes. We'll have roots down there. So, um, you know, that will be left after you pull her up from the pot, right? Um, and then she'll go to her new home. And peach tree my crab apple doesn't have a name this is bell which is bell peach okay 
And look at Belle. She's looking great this year. She got sickly last year from um, Alberta because they'll get the same disease and blah, blah, blah. So far, one blossom is all I see. <laughs> she might give me one peach. Um, when I bought her, she was already a year old. She's And she's been here a year. So this is season two. And she's got some shoots down there. And I believe she was bare root. I'm not sure. But like I said, there's one blossom. We'll see what happens. But that's Belle the peach tree. Let's go on to Gayla. Gayla ain't doing nothing right now, y'all. I don't even know where my tag is for Gayla, but this is Gayla. Okay. Um, I don't know. She's swollen up there. Um, so we shall see. I am not going to prune my tree the way everybody else is pruning their trees. Um, no. So, she's going to stay just like that, and so are these guys right here. I'm not taking them off. They tell you to prune anything that's going straight up in the air, like this one was pruned back, and then you want it to go out this way in an angle, but she's going straight up in the air, and I'm going to let her go right up in the air, and this one as well, go right up in the air. I'm not moving them. So, that's Gayla. Let's go to the olive tree. She's been in two other spots and did not like it. She likes this one. It's going to be, um, I think she's called arabesque olive. So I'm excited. I do want to show you from the old garden from last year. I have some onions that I thought were all lost and they're still here, you guys. Look. And there's a few up there too. Right there. I'm excited about those and I'm going to leave them. All right, so this is in a pot, and this is the methylene plum, okay? Methylene plum, she goes with me when I go. Anything else that I buy now, probably for the last six to eight months, um, when I leave and sell this house, I'm taking my the ones that are in pots with me. So I want to show you the methylene plum in her pot. She's got blossoms, and I'm excited. Now, naturally, what? well, not naturally, but what they say is you would cut this and this. I'm not cutting them because they're more shooting straight up. Well, at least this one is going to shoot straight up. But do you see my blossoms? Do you know that I am not cutting my blossoms? <laughs> I'm not going to do it. <laughs> not this year. I'll take her with me. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Uh -uh. Anyway, this is Methley Plum. I have planted watermelon seeds for the sugar baby. I planted the whole pack. It's going to throw up all over the place and we're going to keep it moving and keep it coming all down here and all back up there. It'll come down this way and then up there for the vines. We'll control them. This is all I'm planting over here this year. I'm not in the mood to mess around over here. Everything else I plant, I'm putting in a raised garden beds. All right, you guys. So. Let's go backwards a little bit. This is blueberry. And this should be the lemonade blueberry. She's doing her thing this year. Just got to watch the squirrels. So I'm going to have to put a fence over her or some kind of net catch or something over her because the squirrels eat them one by one as they ripen every day. I have not had one yet, okay? That's lemonade blueberry. I'm going to go around this tree and I'm going to show you that this is the regular blueberry that I do not know what the type is woodard blueberry okay and she's looking good I'll call him woodard he looking he's looking good and she's looking great okay so what you're looking at now is my dwarf Bartlett pear and so the DW that you see on my tags like methylene plum is a dwarf tree you can keep them short, no more six feet. Now she's in the ground, but we took cuttings of her. But I'll probably buy me another Bartlett pear. Look at her. She took wonderfully. Now, I was told when I bought her that she was already two to three years old and should fruit 
this year with her little self because she's dwarf. So we shall see y'all, we shall see. My daughter wanted a pear tree and my, my youngest one, my oldest one, we used to have a pear tree when I was a renter in California in our backyard and they cut the tree down. But we used to go out there and get those pears. And so um, we have a pear tree for the first time. My eldest, that's over 30 years ago. So um, Bartlett pear. I'm excited about this one. This is the other plum tree that was coveted to me, Santa Rosa. Okay, that's the Santa Rosa. And she's in a bucket because she goes. Look at her. She's got blooms. I'm so excited. Um, she's in the ground two years now. Thought the heifer was dead. Because she started drying out. I cut her way back. Put some fertilizer and boop, boop, boop. This is her. So even though it has rained, the package I left out here when I was planting the watermelons. This is what they're going to look like. I hope you can get a good shot of that they're real dark and I'm gonna let them get as big as I can. Hopefully the frost doesn't catch me this year. I'll pick it up later, I'm in the mood. Anyway, so go to the last one over here in a bucket. I need to put some dirt around the back. You see that? The dirt then came out so she's not totally covered. But still, um, she'll get water and she can go into the ground. This is my coveted honey crisp apple she's not doing anything yet y'all i've only had her probably about five or six weeks so we shall see oh guess what i just did stepped in a bed of ants and of course i only knew that because one of them just stung me where i got them from i don't know because i don't see an ant bed somewhere on my property over there just means that this year, this week, I'm going to be um, spraying for my ants. As a matter of fact, I have some spray in the house and I'm going to get it here in a couple of hours on my lunch. And um, I'm going to spray all my ant beds with it. In the meantime, I have to de-ant myself real quick. I got them. Cause they will get you boy you get on their stuff and they will get your butt right we ain't playing this year i ain't trying to hear it they ain't gonna be biting me all up they got me real good last year really good really when i say good y'all i mean good okay it's probably like my second or third third sting of the season i don't know where i just got that from but it's over there obviously probably by that honey crisp anyway so that's in the in my little orchard okay I will come back and show you what else is on the porch I'll show you um, a few more um, well one more plum that I have planted she woke up I'll show you her real quick okay And I'll show you the loquat. I'm hoping that she fruits this year. Um, I've been trying to uh, root some loquat. I have not been successful yet. So she's in year four. She's been here since April of 2020 as well. This is loquat. And so if you can see me <coughs> here, that's how short loquat is. Probably about three and a half feet. Okay, so hopefully from here she'll fruit, okay? I don't really know how loquat works. I haven't done a lot of research on them. This is the one I was gonna dig up last year and I promise you the Holy Spirit told me, um, well, I'll say, I'll tell you this. So I said, oh, she's probably dead. I'm gonna take her out and put her in a bucket. She's not gonna grow here, right? That's what I thought. And I heard the Holy Spirit say, she will grow leave her she will grow i left her she peaked one little green leaf and then went dormant all of last year 
and just last week she perked her little self right up and out i'm excited about her um her tag was disintegrating dry rotting yesterday this is bruce plum all right guys so i'll show you some more stuff later but those are all the fruit trees in the ground right and um i'll show you all my rose bushes and the new ones i've planted in the next video